Let's explain hybridization in case of uh, SFO molecule. Central atom is sulfur, atomic number 16. So configuration from this we'll see that uh, it is having six valence electrons. So out of six valence electrons, we can see that sulfur is using four of its valence electrons to form four covalent bonds with the fluorine so out of six four are used to form the covalent bonds with the fluorine and uh, therefore one lone pair is left on sulfur so as a result starting from the basic that is the total number of bonds around the central atom that is sulfur is equal to four therefore we need four half filled orbitals around sulfur because only then it can form four bonds on the other hand if we talk about how many hybridized orbitals do we need in this case then for that we'll find that there are sigma bonds which are four around sulfur and lone pairs around sulfur is only one so we always do the total for this because we know that hybridized orbitals are always used to form sigma bonds around any atom and to carry the lone pairs. So that means we need five hybridized orbitals around sulfur. So we should always keep this in mind that how many half filled orbitals do we need and then further how many hybridized orbital do we need around the central atom so now we'll go for the orbital representation in case of sulfur sulfur in its ground state let's see so always remember if any atom is having the sufficient number that is sorry the required number of half filled orbitals in the ground state itself then there is no need of excitation remember hybridization can also take place in the ground state so but we see in the ground state we just have two half filled orbitals in the valence shell of sulfur but uh, as you know we need uh, four bonds so that means we need four half filled orbitals so for that sulfur has to move into excited state so we know that sulfur being the third period element so it have vacant d orbitals around it in its valence shell so therefore some electrons from 3p depending upon how many uh, as we need four half filled orbitals so you can see there is need of only one p electron to be shifted into 3d right so as a result we got this situation where uh, one electron jumps here so what you can see is we are having uh, here four half filled orbitals right so that means sulfur can form four bonds right but uh, let's talk about the hybridization now because now we are not only going to form sigma bond with uh, one lone pair has to be carried in the hybridized orbitals of sulfur so for that we need five hybridized orbitals so in this case we have to mix these five orbitals for this purpose right so this is one s 3p and one d orbital involved in the hybridization that is five atomic orbitals are mixing therefore we will get five orbitals one which is fully filled and other four which are half filled all of them are same in energy and shape that is sp3 d all of them are sp3 d so out of these five this will be used to carry the lone pair and these four will be used to form four sigma bonds with fluorine atoms right so let's talk about the shape in this case now as it is sp3 d hybridization so that means the skeletal around sulfur will be triangular bipyramidal and in this triangular bipyramidal we have uh, five corners so we know the lone pairs are always in the equatorial positions because at axial position they produce more repulsion so if we keep it here then these positions one two three four five six seven eight 
two in the plane in the triangular plane and one below and one above this plane so these will be taken up by fluorine so remember when you decide the shape of the molecule now the skeletal is a triangular bipyramidal but while deciding the shape of the molecule just forget about the lone pairs the rest part will give you the correct name for the shape so if you see just by rotating it a bit it will be a seesaw shape so we know ultimately we have found that SF4 is having a seesaw shape and we have explained the bonding the formation of four sigma bond one lone pair around sulfur uh, using the concept of hybridization.